We open a store every eight hours. We are the biggest convenience store in Mexico, for example. We have the 70% of the industry. The next competition competitor they, uh, is 7-Eleven in Mexico. They have just 1,200 stores. And if we compare in North America, we are still the biggest uh, convenience store in North America. And the second competitor is also 7-Eleven, uh, but with less stores. We receive seven and a half million of people every day in our stores. Uh, that means that uh, in one month, the whole, po the whole population in Mexico comes to our stores. It's for everybody and for every time. You go to an Axo store and if you're hungry in the morning, we have something for you. You, are, you just want one, something, a snack, we have something for you. We, you, are going, you are going to have a party and we have everything to set your party, you know. You are in a rush and you cannot go to the bank so you can have your financial services at Oxo. Uh, and for example, right now we're working in selling uh, bus tickets. So you don't have time to go to the central, we, you can find it in Oxo. So, we want to give them convenience. With the agents and the ATMs, we are trying to reach the underserved. In the other hand, we think we can help not just the underserved, but the un underbanked segment. How? Uh, we're working and in, in launching an EU OXO wallet, and this product is going to be very easy to get. Uh, we, you can, the, the people will buy it in, uh, at OXO stores. They don't need to sign a contract, you know, that's one. The other one is I, we think we are very attractive for them because the OXO brand is very friendly for them. These people, they don't like the banks. They don't like them. They think that they are uh, rough with them, etc. And for us, it's, very, it's easier because they like our brand. They found sodas, chips, food, etc. So that's a very important thing. And the other one is that um, this uh, product will help them to save money, will help them to deposit in every single store, cash out in every single store. With 9,000 stores, that's very good. Um, this product will connect and you can put it, uh, connect or link it to the, a mobile. So you can do a lot of stuff like P2Ps, alert, they can buy top-ups, buy, buy top etc. So we think, uh, and the other one is the sending money. In Mexico, uh, they receive a lot of money from the US and domestic transfer. So this product, it's gonna help for them and it's gonna be way cheaper than the ways that we have in Mexico right now. We are having profit. For example, in bill payments, we are 300 million each year in money. Um, and with gift cards and with ATMs, etc., we are having like 5 million in, for example, gift card, 6 million in insurance, uh, etc. And it helps to increase the in store traffic too. We can help the society, we can make profit, you know. And everything in, in, in everything in the same uh, work. You don't have to do chari uh, charity in other brands. You can do it in do it well, having profit, and, and it's it's business. We have eight uh, employees per store. If you do the math, that's seventy-two thousand employees. So one of the biggest challenges for us is to train these people in order to, to know how to sell financial services because it's very easy to sell soda, to sell snacks, but not financial services. So that's the biggest challenge for us because we have to teach them and we have to teach the consumer too because we are serving the underserved or the underbank. So it's very, very hard for us to maintain the, uh, the training of the employees and then teach the consumer. We are a retailer. We have to convince people to trust us in money. Because right now they just think, you know, I go to Oxo, I can go and buy beer, uh, uh, cigarettes, groceries, or whatever. But we have to convince them, hey, you can trust us in the money uh, industry, you know. In Mexico, if you want to do branchless banking, you have to receive a certification by the Comisión Nacional Bancaria. 
in the process to get that certification is very hard. They had to visit us in every single city uh, for each bank. So it's very hard for us and it's kind of slow, you know. Financial inclusion is not going to be as fast as we wish. So in five years, I think, for example, in the branchless banking, we, I think we're going to have at least eight or ten banks with us. Uh, we are going to be, uh, we're going to have this product, you know, the e-wallet in the whole country. Uh, we think we are going to reach a lot of the young banks. Uh, we're going to start the um, uh, domestic money transfer. We're going to start the remittances too. Uh, we're going to uh, increase or um, we're going to get more type of insurance sellings in the stores. Right now we just have one type. What we're working right now and putting micro insurances in the whole country too. So I think basically that's, that's it. And uh, if you talk about money, uh, we think it's going to be very, prof very, very profitable. Uh, for, for, for example, we are projecting that in the branchless banking in the next, not next, in two years, we're going to have like 200 millions per year. And so it's like I told you, we can help the society. We are back in the financial inclusion in Mexico, but it's business too. So very, very happy in doing both.